Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, but um, welcoming back again to this Corvair budget engine build. Uh, it's been about a month, of course, coronavirus and all this stuff has kind of slowed down my progress, but I'm happy to be back, back in the shop and making some content for you guys, especially on this budget build Corvair motor. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to point out was originally when I was doing a lot of the work, I brought up this manual here. Well, guess what? I'm not building a car, building an airplane. This is what you really need. This is the manual from William Wynn and from uh, Fly With SPA. This is the step-by-step -step guide for uh, finishing up the motor. What's nice about this is it has all the torque patterns or torque values, especially when using this stuff right here, the ARP assembly loop. And this is important because this is going to change the torque values that are in the base motor. So um, today, the plan is, if you kind of look behind me here, I have got all of the pistons ready to put in the cylinders along with the rings. So I'm gonna check the ring gaps and let's see if we can get these things seated and kind of, hey, who knows, maybe even get them in the motor. So let's get started. All right, so let's dive right in. So when you got the Corvair motor, you've got a series of different rings. These are standards, which is what I need for this. These are standard pistons and which also gives me standard diameter rings. So in the box, you got the number one, number two, and these other rings down here, these go for down in the oil passage. So each one of these need ha needs to go in there and it has to have a specific gap. Now the gap that we're looking for between these two points is specified, like I pointed out earlier, in this manual. So you flip open the page to the correct section here. And here we go. On these, we have a specific gap that we need. And it is, well, you guys will have to buy your own manual to figure that out. But let's go and double check that all of these match what's in this manual. All right guys, so got all the rings installed, checked all the gaps, everything's looking good, but you know what? It's not late, it's Arizona, it's just really, really hot in my garage, so I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> all right everybody, so it is the next day and I've got uh, pistons ready to go and I've got this little contraption. I came up with this idea from William Wynn, so it's not mine, but it supports the cylinder and you'll notice that we got this little block down here and that keeps the cylinder in the position it needs to be in. So let me show you where that is. So here we got all the rings ready to go. Again, supported down here. But this is what's important. So if you look here, let me show you this real quick. You'll see a little arrow. Where's that arrow? Right there. And that arrow points to the front of the motor. Now how you determine the front is this. You'll notice that you have a narrow set here on the bottom and a wide set on the top. So this is for... Cylinder six. Well, where's cylinder six? It's on this side of the motor. So this arrow needs to be pointing in that direction because this is how it's going to sit in the motor. You have these two are always facing up, arrow to the front. That's how you set this thing up, ready to install the pistons. The reason this block is here is so that I can get this into the correct position. So here we go. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the video there. So as you notice, I've got all of the pistons into the cylinders. I've got all the prep work done. I did all the checking, all the ring gapping. But I think this is a good spot to end. So that uh, next video, I can show you guys putting the cylinders and the pistons into the case and getting that thing a little closer to uh, ready for the final install. Still waiting on a couple of parts, and as soon as I get those in, I'll really be able to button up more of this motor. So until next time, I'll see you guys around and get back in the garage and start building your own Corvair motors.